Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, and today I'm bringing you of the Power Rangers Dino Charge and Lux Dino Charge Morpher. Now, initially, I didn't really feel like getting this Morpher, and I was trying to avoid the line just because I already got a lot of the Bandai Japan stuff, but the cannon alone is something that I didn't have on the Bandai Japan release, so I decided, since they got the sword, I might as well get the Morpher to go along with it. Anyways, we'll take a look at the box. It's in the usual open style box, which Bandai America's been using for a lot of the products recently, which absolutely despise this kind of style because especially if you have the pull tab out or just getting a lot of banging around on the shelves and so on a lot of paint wear does already happen off the bat and this isn't a way to really protect the fit toy at all so it's a bit of a shame that band america's is going this way i can understand once again with the driving features and so on but it's just better off if they just enclosed it and everything on the back it shows the other Dino Charger packs that's going to release. You obviously can combine it with the sword. And the other functions, including lights and sounds, which is cool that, once again, Band America's decided to keep the lights and sounds built in. Obviously, the sounds would be included, but it's nice that the lights also stayed with it. Now, obviously, this does have an on and off switch, which I do like that, once again, we have another toy with an on and off switch from Band America. Here we go. It does light up, which I'll now turn off the lights to show it a little better. The part that lights up. So yeah, the entire barrel lights up via a light there, and it does activate several sounds. So just going over the sounds, we have that sound, and then we also have... It just cycles through the three sounds built in into the morpher. What we could do next, obviously, is unlike the Japanese release where it has a lever to open and close it, this one you just activate it just by opening the lever, and it makes this sound. The two more... Sorry, the two chargers that it includes is just the standard T-Rex Dino Charger, which has obviously the, the typical four sides, just like with the, the Parasol Alpha Charger as well. So we'll go out with the T-Rex Charger first. If you don't activate the barrel, all it does is the generic three sounds. But once you activate the barrel, it'll make another sound. And then you press the button in order to activate the transmission. On the Japanese release, in order to activate the finisher, so they would have to activate the barrel again, and then activate the trigger, but on this version, you just activate the trigger. And it will constantly do the same sound as many times as you press it otherwise. Then, just open it, and hold on to these buttons, and then it just slides down, and activates another sound. Then you do the same with the other charger it's included as well. And you obviously could activate the same sound finisher. No matter what battery you put in there, it's going to make the same finishing sound. So let's just remove the battery. And then also you can, if you wanted to, go ahead and use the charger that came with the, the Megazord. It's the same thing as the T-Rex charger, but just to show what it does in the morpher, it'll make the same exact sounds. And then we just eject it. And then we can also use the morph, sorry, the charger that came with the sword. So yeah, that's what you get with just the sword and the 
more for a loan. I'll be back to show the combination with the Saber. And we're back. As you can see here, I put the Saber already in blaster mode. What you're going to do next is change it back into as if you're putting in the charger. When you put in a charger, it will not activate a new sound, but just to show that it won't, we're just going to put a random charger in. And then you just plug this together, and it'll make another confirmation sound. You can put this down or up. Normally it's like this in the regular blaster mode, so it looks pretty good in the hand. But you can also put it in the bayonet mode as well. As you can see, it goes off camera. It's really long, actually. Let's just close this off. And then it activates two different sounds when you activate the button. When you just do it normally, it makes this sound. And just to show it does repeat. However, when you activate the barrel, it makes the charge up sound again. And then you press it. And it'll constantly do that sound because you're in that mode. So yeah, that's all it does uh, on its own. So it's even though it does pretty cool, it's not that many extra sounds. It has a lot more sounds than the Japanese release because the Japanese release only had like one sound when you activated it. So I kind of prefer this one, even though it doesn't have the shotgun ability like the Japanese release. Sorry about that. That's pretty much all it can do. It does activate one more sound, obviously, when you disconnect it. To disconnect it, all you need to do is press this button and slide the sword off. Now, just to show what happens if you do it without the charger, it will not make a difference. Same thing with the sword, as mentioned in my sword review. It doesn't make any other sounds in this mode. This alone, actually, even if you have it off or on, will not make any new sounds when you connect it. It's all on the morpher, so just show. Sliding it again. So as you can see, it doesn't make any new sounds when you activate it, and we'll just take off the sword again and take it off to the side. I'll be back with the Gobble Rubber to show a comparison between the two. Now as you can see, the Bandai America Morpher is a lot smaller than the Bandai Japan one. The Bandai Japan one is extremely bulky, even for my hands, in like adult hands, this thing's really humongous, and personally, even though it was really cool to play around with this thing, I felt as though it was a bit too heavy and a bit too annoying to fill around with. I feel as though this is a lot more easy on the hand. It's a lot more comfortable to just play around with, while this one's more like a roleplay slash, um, I guess cosplay kind of thing and all that, and personally, I just thought it was a bit too bulky to play around with too much. Um, just like I did with the Legendary Morpher, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the comparisons. So here we go with... Here is the Dino Charger that came with the Morpher. And here it is compared with the Gabatira Judenchi. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. And as people says, this is more like a double A versus a triple A kind of style. In the back here it says Gavatira, and the back here it says Tyrannosaurus Rex, so they went ahead and just named it after the actual dinosaur's names. Now, putting this in the... the what's it called? Uh, ah, I can't... the God Revolver. It'll make this sound. Obviously in this mode it just has one single sound. So unlike the Japanese, sorry, the American release, that's a single sound instead of cycling through a couple. Then, this will obviously have some music, so... Then, it just goes back to the cycle sounds, and then, you activate the barrel again. So yeah, it has definitely has a lot more sounds than the American release, at least in that sense. Uh, another thing is that the Japanese release, just to show a comparison between both uh, Velociraptor, I'll just do it quickly since it came with the Saber, and the Japanese one. Now this one is the Spirited In version, so I don't have a regular one. I never got a chance to get the real one, so I just stuck with whatever was possible to at least get one charger since these all activate the same sounds. Obviously, um... Some of these glow in the dark. I forgot which ones do and which ones don't since I haven't played it around with the Gabba Revolver in a long time. But as you can see, it's extremely different in size. And obviously, this is Persa Gun. And this one says, uh, and I just realized I chose the wrong charger. So, my bad. 
I meant to do this one. So as you can see, it looks like that. Another thing with the Japanese release is that this one actually has two barrels, unlike the American, which has one barrel. So when you decide to make another one, So yeah, uh, this one had a double finisher when you activated the batteries, and to uh, remove these batteries, all you need to do is just pull it out, and obviously it should not be flying off the table. Anyways, we'll now put in just the Zakudor battery. So one thing I do kind of like about the American release is that they went ahead and actually put in the Ranger's name, so it would be Velociraptor Dino Charge Green. So this one just activates another thing. So cool. And then finally, we'll now take a look between the two Persigons. Now that I got the right battery here, sorry about that earlier. We'll take a look at. Persigon and the one that comes with the Dino Charge Morpher. You can see it's a lot bigger once again. This one has. This one's also just the Spirited In version, so yeah. Put this into the Morpher now. And for the finisher. So yeah, while I really like the Japanese release, the American one's got its own cool abilities. And between the two, since this, since the Japanese release is going up in value ever since Dino Charge came out, I've seen a second in market. I think the Dino Charge Warfare is good enough for what you're getting, especially since it does say the other names. And while obviously it is a lot smaller, it is at times a bit more fun to play with just because this one is way too bulky especially it's this one's actually better with shotgun mode if you have the japanese sword which i don't have but alone i think the american one kind of wins in that aspect but anyways i overall I still really enjoy both versions i think bad america did a fantastic job with the uh, dino charge morpher and i will be collecting the rest of the dino charge uh role play or at least not i'm not going to be getting the carnival if america's choose to use it i'm pretty sure they will but I will at least get the battery packs and obviously the mecha. Anyways, please kindly of subscribe. Check out Hirotaku. Uh, the associate podcasts on Rajinio, WRW, right, uh, Hirotaku, and Hero News. And I'll see you on YouTube. Bye.